literally been several months since I've been trying to do this hair and I've just been putting it off because I've heard that doing this type of hair can be a bit difficult. pink in my hair for like a year and I'm kind of ready to change things up a bit. I've kind of been inspired a little bit by like the Christina Aguilera type of like two-tone colors but I might have totally different hair at the end of the video than what I said I was going to do. So here's the final product and it's been so long since I've done a YouTube video that I just feel like I look so weird on camera when I test record. It just, the light looks so harsh on my face. I did a little 90s type of makeup just for this hair for this video. I haven't seen a lot of people do this hair on YouTube. It's hard to get the areas where the blonde and brown meet not to bleed over a little bit. Some areas, like, you can't really see it looking like this, but if you, like, look closely, like, you can definitely see some imperfections. This is definitely a type of hair color that is really challenging for somebody who's not a hairstylist to do at home. I may do the blonde parts pink in a few weeks, but I definitely want to get some like photos in and stuff of this hair. I can tell it's gonna be hard to maintain because it's just like you have to separate it out and I don't know how long I'm gonna have it for, but I do really like it for the aesthetic and I feel like it just makes the outfits that I wear just that more aesthetic with the like Y2K 90s look. And not, like I said, not a lot of people have done it and I feel like a lot of people are kind of scared to do it because it is so challenging and also because <laughs> after this hair had its time in the early 2000s it was really like not it for most people so that's when like the whole balayage and blended highlights came back in so I hope this tutorial helped some of you that may be looking to do this hair 
definitely make sure that you are sectioning it properly and have somebody look over it for you because it can be really hard, especially with the last two stripes. But definitely the front of the head, the stripes on the front of the head are easier to do if you're just doing it by yourself. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe if you haven't and And I think that will be it, so thanks for watching!